Hello Bruins! This video will cover the layout and unique features of JSTOR, one of our most used databases. You might use JSTOR if you're taking a class in the social sciences, such as sociology, history, psychology, or economics, and aren't finding the sources you need in search all resources. There are a few ways to access JSTOR. If you're in one of those social science courses, you should find a link to JSTOR on your research guide. From our homepage, you can also click Search Article Databases to access the alphabetical list of all of our databases. And there you can find JSTOR listed under J. The landing page for JSTOR is a simple search box. If you're more comfortable with an advanced search, you can find that option located just below the search box and towards the top of the page. If you're unfamiliar with an advanced search, it's a page that allows you to add multiple filters at once. JSTOR also has a browse feature, which allows you to explore different topics of interest without having to select your own keyword. Just click Browse, select the general area you want to look at, and find a topic that interests you on the list of available options. The search results page should look more or less familiar to you if you've seen our database basics tutorial or have done library research in the past. You can find the options for narrowing your search available on the left side of the page, these include the ability to select a preferred source type, whether that's an academic source like a book chapter or an article, or a primary document or original text, the ability to select a publication date, and the ability to select a subject to help you narrow your search. Each entry gives you the option of clicking the title to view the work, downloading the work as a PDF right from the search results page, citing the source, or saving the source in your JSTOR account, which you can set up by clicking Sign Up towards the top. If you aren't signed in, this option won't help you much since the items you save won't be there next time, so be sure to sign in before using it. The only other thing to know about JSTOR is the page where you view the text looks a little bit different from our other databases. Instead of just being able to scroll through the full text, JSTOR uses a viewer where you navigate through the text using these buttons on the left and right of the document. So if you only see one page, don't panic, just click the arrow to continue reading. You can also come back to this document at any time using the link provided on the left side of the page. This is also where you will find information about the author, publisher, and in the case of a book chapter, the book it was published in, including other chapters you might want to skim through to see if they're also worth using. As I said before, most of the options available here will be familiar to you, but now you know exactly where to find them. If you have questions about JSTOR or anything else related to the library, please ask your librarians. One way to do that anytime, anywhere is using the 24-7 chat on our website. Thank you for watching.